okay, so we're in Dreamweaver, and we want to know where to go from here. We've pulled in all of our images into Dreamweaver from our Photoshop design. Now we need to make the the website work. So let's start off with the buttons. As you see here, all of our button images have come in as separate images into cells within a, a table <clears throat> in Dreamweaver. Now what we want to do is make these functional. So the first thing we do, <coughs> excuse me, we go back to Photoshop. What I've got here is I've got a number of different rollovers already applied um, in my design. So if I just find my buttons here, what I've got is um, for latest news, what I want is when someone rolls over them, the image to come up as orange. So what I do is I go through all of these <coughs> rollover images highlight them all so they're all visible and then I kind of go through the same process again so we go to save as web and devices <clears throat> we're going to save them as JPEGs again this time what I want to do is I just want to make sure that I have the buttons highlighted so I've only got um, the five images highlighted five or the five slices highlighted here um, I'll switch that to JPEG again, quality 100, um, and press save. Now, I don't want to save as HTML and images anymore. I only want to use images. We only do that HTML the first time just to bring everything into a table or into a Dreamweaver. From now on, we're going to save um, as images only. And then the second option I want to change is I only want to save the selected slices. Okay, and just so I can find everything, I'm just going to add rollover as the file name. What that'll do when I press save is it will all still go into the images file, but it'll give it an extension of rollover. So I'll press save, come back into Dreamweaver, just hit my refresh button. You see now I've got some more JPEGs here um, that have come in. Okay, so I click here and I see that the image name is layout 09. Now this has come in because of the slices within Photoshop. It's a good idea to go through all of these slices and give them names. Um, as you see the name here is layout 09 just because um, the file name is layout and it's automatically given the um, slice image number 9. <coughs> you can go through all these and name them yourself it's it's a good idea to do that for later reference but I'm quite lazy so I'm not going to so I know that this is image layout 09 and what I want to do is create a rollover image so in my um, common bar at the top um, I make sure that rollover images is highlighted and the first image I want to show in this cell with it highlighted is layout image 09 and the rollover image itself is rollover 09 okay so that brings that into Dreamweaver now because I didn't delete that first, it's, it's kind of a bit funny, so I, I need to delete the original image. Um, and I, we'll do that on the next button. So if I just save that and test it, now we get in Internet Explorer, we get this ActiveX control warning, um, which is just an added bit of security. Um, so here's our, our buttons. The home image we put a rollover on, as you can see now, when I roll over it, it changes. Okay, we'll do that one more time. Uh, this image is image 10, so let's delete it first. Click on add a rollover, browse, 
Right out of ten. And roll over ten. Click OK. Save it. Test it. And there you see we have two rollover buttons on our website. Okay, so that's step one. Um, you can go through and do, do all, all the buttons on your site. In step two, what we do is we pick up the, the text um, that's in the website itself. 